Hello guys, today I've decided to do a review of Watership Down, which is a British animated film that was released in UK cinemas in 1978. It was based on the novel Watership Down by Richard Adams and had a successful release in the UK, but as you would expect, was less successful in the US. There was even a 3D animated remake released in 2018 by the BBC, but as it usually is with so-called improved or updated versions of things, much of what made the original so memorable was lost in it. Even if you haven't seen the film itself, you may have heard about some of the controversies surrounding it, mostly to do with its censorship, or rather, the lack of it. But we'll cover that in a moment. The film's plot revolves around a group of rabbits in the English countryside. The main characters in the group are Hazel, the level-headed and logical thinker, and his younger brother, Fiverr, who can sometimes see visions into the future. One day, Fiverr has a vision that their current home is going to soon face great tragedy and tries to persuade the chief to evacuate the Warren. Now, in May, the mating season. The chief refuses, so Hazel and Fiverr gather who they can and make a break for it with the help of Bigwig, a former officer of the Warren, who decides to go along with them. Bigwig! Yes, you know me. The plot itself is nothing new or special, quite simple, and has been done many times. The characters are facing troubles at their current place, and try their best to get to another place with better prospects. What makes the film stand out, however, is the gruesome deaths and disturbing scenes that occur throughout. Right off the bat, we see the first member of the group get taken. And it's done so quick and sudden, without any dramatization or mourning, that you know that this is not going to be the last death we'll see by a long shot. This gives the film an entire sense of awkward tension throughout, knowing that each obstacle that the characters come across could quite easily be their last. Interestingly enough, though, of all the obstacles they face, and there's a lot of them, the greatest threat they seem to come across is other rabbits. They discover another Warren, which is led by the tyrant General Woundwort, who, as far as any bunny villain could go, really can't be accused of being soft. He is powerful, cunning, and ruthless with anyone who opposes him. <laughs> Which leads us to the main controversy of this film. The violence and the certification that didn't exactly reflect it one bit. I'm personally not a fan of censorship of any kind as I believe that every form of art should be left exactly as it was originally intended for the audience. But at the same time, it probably wouldn't hurt films like this to be given the appropriate label, at least when they're clearly not suitable for children at all. This film originally received a universal rating, which means suitable for all. How it was able to pull that off is anyone's guess. I'm guessing it may have had something to do with someone having the right connections or just the right amount of bribe money. But at any rate, it was actually updated to a PG rating about a year ago, which of course still means suitable for children, just with parental guidance. And it isn't even just the violence alone in this production. There is also some really disturbing imagery in it, which can be quite haunting, even for adults. One scene in particular, where we see rabbits getting buried alive, slowly suffocating and going insane underground. Yeah, to the bad. Runs blocked with dead bodies. We couldn't get out. Everything turned mad. Water, earth, roots, grass, all pushed into the air. If there is anyone who watched this scene and wasn't at least a little bit freaked out by it, I don't think I would want to meet that person. And of course, there's also some swearing in it, just for good measure. We help you. Piss off! Considering that this film came out in the 1970s, it's maybe not that surprising that they were more lenient with this sort of stuff, since people in general were a lot tougher back then. And we didn't have fragile little snowflakes getting their feelings hurt by every other word all around us either. However, disregarding the certification, I would still recommend this film. Despite the obvious talking point of the film's excessive gore and violence, it is actually a lot more than that. 
It's a film which has well thought out characters who, because of the film's unforgiving nature, you really root and fear for. The plot is simple enough to follow. Even though it's nothing new, it may still offer a new viewing experience due to the sheer tension that envelops it. And despite all that tension, it even manages to fit in some short moments of comedy. You stupid bunnies! You got no mates! There are mates! There are cheese! Plenty trouble for you! You need mates! At the same time, of course, it's also obvious that this film simply cannot appeal to mass audiences. There's the violence, obviously, but also other things like the pacing being slow at times, or the dialogue coming across as bland and a bit too mature compared to other animated kids' films, especially to those who grew up mostly on Disney stuff. Then again, that's not what this film is going for. It wants to present a more realistic image of the world with a more serious tone to it than your average cartoon. And with a somewhat crude, hand-drawn animation, the lush watercolor backgrounds and the somber music, it very much achieved that. So if that sounds like the film for you, you may want to give it a watch and you'll probably love it. And if you're a fan of the faster paced, more comically driven Disney type film, then you may want to stay away from this one. Although if you do want to see the film, but you're not quite so keen on the mature tone, such as the violence and swearing, you can actually grab copies which no longer include so much blood and so many excessively violent scenes. But needless to say, you should try to watch it in its original state if you can stomach it, which also means the much more atmospheric and captivating hand-drawn version, and not the soulless CGI remake. Anyway, if you would like to get some sweet perks on this channel, check out my subscribe star page and pick a tier you like. Also, check out the other videos I have here, and I will see you in the next one.